Hi everybody, my name is Henry and in this video I wanted to show you how to recover from a 500 internal server error. So you recently encountered this error here and you're trying to work on your site locally using WAMP and you are pretty frustrated I'm sure so for me, 90% of the time this is caused by an HD access file. And what you want to do is uh, you want to head over to your root folder and check if there is any file in here that can be causing this. And what I mean by that is usually if you're playing around with your sites, if you use WAMP to develop multiple sites like I do, and you drop an HD file, an HD access file here just because you're working on another site. In my case, this file um, was being used for another site that I was developing, and it has some rewrites that is causing my other sites to air it out with this 500 internal server error. So I just want to be mindful of that. In this case here is for the um, uh, VOTKB uh, website I was working on. So what you want to do is you want to move the HD access file out of there. If you don't need it, you can go ahead and delete it. Or in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and move it over to a folder. Uh, here and I already have copied it here but you want to move it out of there uh, since this is the website I was working on uh, using this file for I went, went ahead and move it there but you can delete it or just move it out of here of the root directory and that should clear it out your the error so you delete it and go back and there we go all right, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, sometimes a file might be in the root, and sometimes it might be uh, if you place it inside the site as well. So sometimes it might be in the site, but uh, usually that would not affect any other site, but it usually be in this root directory here on the www. All right, if you have any questions, um, you can go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. Um, there is a blog post that's related to this on my website on hsnyc.co. Uh, you can also go visit the website and leave a comment there if you have any questions. I hope this, um, this has helped. Alright, uh, see you guys next time.